So you might have already seen me unbox a Silverstone PF240 water cooler before, the original black color one. But that unit had some issues, so Silverstone sent me this as a replacement, the PF240W. It's just the difference is it's a white version, so all the components are colored white. And it does also still have the ARGB coloring for the RGB, and it supports all of the ridiculous different standards for RGB control from all the motherboard vendors. And yes, it's addressable RGB, so you can color it however you want at any portion of the fan. So here's also the specifications of the cooler. It does have a six pole design for the pump motor, which is pretty nice to see. And it does also include an ARGB controller. So if your PC doesn't have an ARGB controller, you can still use the ARGB function. And yeah, the pump housing is made out of plastic while the base is copper, it's pretty standard. The pump speed is 3400 RPM and the fan speed is up to 2200 RPM, which is pretty nice because that's a pretty high RPM and the lowest range is at 600, so you can tune the fan to however you want it to be. Now for the special features, you can see there's a lot of language here. It basically just says it has ARGB and all the features of the coolers and in different languages. So let's open the box and see what we have inside. So on opening the box, you immediately are greeted by some user manuals. One for the ARGB controller, which is a separate piece of paper, because it is kind of a separate device that Silverstone has. And you also get the cooler's user manual, which is actually pretty detailed with the AMD steps on one side, as well as the components that are included in the package. And it's all drawn out pretty nicely and clearly, so you shouldn't have any problems installing this. This is a pretty simple installation actually for this cooler, but I'll test it out in my review. And on the other side, you also get the Intel installation instructions. Here you can see the installation instructions are again clearly marked and drawn out, so you can see how to install this by yourself and you shouldn't have any issues in installing this cooler. Then you also get this warranty information. And you also get this foam padding for protection and shipping, as well as a typical carton packaging for an AIO liquid cooler. And here you have the two fans that are included. These are Silverstone fans, 2200 RPM, and these are colored white in all their components. So it does look really nice. So if you're looking for a cooler for a white team build, this might be it. And as you can see, the fans themselves are pretty simple. There isn't anything too fancy. And it does have this kind of frosted fan blades on it. So the RGB coloring should shine pretty nicely onto the fan blades and get dispersed. And for the cables, you also get the RGB connections as well. These are tree pins, just like any ARGB connections. And they're not proprietary, so you can pretty much connect it to anything. And it's daisy chainable as well because you have two fans here. So I think you're supposed to daisy chain them together to the controller that's included. And it's the same thing with the second fan as well. Then you also get the plastic bag for all the accessories. And finally, let's just take a look at the cooler first before we take a look at the accessories and installation kit. Now for the radiator, it's a dual 120mm radiator and it's also all painted white to match the white theme of this cooler. And it does look really nice. The paint is pretty nicely done and I think it matches any white build that you might want to do pretty well. And the hoses themselves are also sleeve, so it does look really neat. Although the color is a bit off for the sleeve as well as the pump housing and the radiator because they're all different materials, but it shouldn't be a problem. And the pump housing also does look really nice with that Silverstone logo on top, which is RGB. And a very, very shiny copper base plate on the bottom of the pump for contacting the CPU. So it should have no problems with 
uh, contact with the CPU IHS. And the pump housing is also connected to the hoses using some swivel fittings, so you should have no issues positioning it however you want, especially with the hose length, which is pretty ample for this AIO liquid cooler. As you can see, even the fins are painted white, so the whole thing is painted white color, not just black, although you can see there's some blemishes on the paint, which is, I think, kind of excusable because, well, it's paint, it's not going to be super perfect, but yeah, maybe a nicer finish would have been nice. And if you put the fans in front of the radiator here, you can just have an idea of how it'll look in a system. And I think it does look really nice. Everything is white colored in this kit. So it's all sticking to the white color theme. And especially with RGB lighting, I think white color is the best color because it does reflect everything instead of black. Especially if you're doing a white build, this might be the best white cooler you can get because this is not even the most expensive cooler. And some of the Corsair coolers, for example, Especially the white ones cost a pretty penny and an extra for the white color, so this might be a great alternative. First of all, let's take a look at the ARGB controller stuff. This is the SATA power adapter. So it's nice that they power this from SATA and not Molex. And also the adapter for connecting the ARGB cables to the controllers, as well as con connecting the controller to more ARGB cables, I guess. There's a lot of options to connect it. And as you can see, the controller is pretty simple. There's just three buttons for you to change the mode, speed, and the colors. And yeah, you basically connect this cable onto the end of the ARGB controller. And you can connect the other ends to the cooler as well as the fans. Now for the mounting hardware, you obviously get the typical LGA 2011 mounting hardware. And you also get the fan mounts and radiator mount screws and you also get the mounting hardware for your AMD and Intel sockets as well in this baggie. Then you also get this cable which is a splitter for the ARGB connections and also a Y splitter for a 4 pin PWM fan connector so you can split your fan connector from your motherboard for the two fans and an adapter for a 3 pin to power the pump with and also obviously the brackets for your Intel and AMD CPU cooler mounting hardware as well as a thermal grease for between the cooler and your CPU, and it should be a pretty decent thermal paste. So yeah, that's basically how it'll look, and I think it does look really nice. For the performance, it'll probably be similar to any other 240mm radiators in terms of performance, as long as their pump is pretty adequate. But that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you do, please leave a like and maybe comment down below if you have this cooler, and maybe click subscribe to see more of my future videos, like a review of this cooler for example. Thanks for watching.